in that first half. Let's see if the halftime break has any cooling effect on him. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, we'll soon find out because I guarantee they're gonna keep feeding it to him behind the arc until he does cool off. All right, the second half beginning in just a moment. Take a look at what Carroll's done. Nine point. As successful as he's been inside and outside, it's posing some serious matchup problems for the defense. You know, when a guy's having such a complete game like he is today, uh, fellas, he, he's, it's really the most difficult type of guy to try to defend because you don't know what to take away. And on the floor for Dwayne Casey starting the second half. DeRozan at the two with Ross playing the three. Jamari Carroll is out there with Bismack Biombo. And it's Lowry in at the one. And Coach Doc Rivers wears multiple hats for this organization. Not only is he the head coach, but also in charge of all basketball operations. Really the leader in a lot of ways for this team. Paul goes in and stolen by Kyle Lowry. Throws and dishes to Carroll. From deep. And the dunk by Biombo. And that's a huge play. I mean, they need more like it because second chance points are going to be key in this game. Mm -hmm, probably so. That's usually a crucial element to any comeback. Yeah, and if you look at it, had they been converting those second chances all along instead of waiting until now, who knows? And, and that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Lowry from outside. And that one's good. Lowry's got eight points. He's just so good from out there, even when the defense is tight. Oh. The Umbo with the block. And it's Jordan with the jam. Raptors trailed by seven. Carroll kicks to Biombo. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. And really nothing like a good old-fashioned throwdown to get a team going. And, Greg, they do need to get going. They wouldn't mind, you know, shaving a couple more points off that lead right away. Well, if the defense keeps giving up easy baskets like that, it won't be a lead for long. Griffin passed to Jordan. Just five on the clock. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jeff Green. That's foul number two for him. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. Cole Aldrich, he's checked in for Jordan. And Bahamute comes in for Green. And it's Rivers in for Paul. Lowry. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. And for Kyle Lowry, last season was full of milestones. First, he signs the big contract extension for four years. Then he earns his first ever All-Star selection. Unfortunately, he didn't finish as strong with the postseason, but a terrific year. And on the topic of Lowry, he became only the third Toronto Raptor ever Mark, to be voted into the All-Star game. Yeah, you know, Bosch and Ben Sanity, the other two, Lowry also participated in the All-Star Weekend Steals Challenge. Man, he's been outstanding as a point guard. And a tenacious leader for the Raptor. Yeah. And stolen by Biombo. Ross dishes to DeRozan. And again, Toronto with the triple. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. And their defensive rotations have been non-existent. The Clippers have gone four or six from the field since the start of the third. Rivers kicks to Griffin. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. A nice shot by Rivers. Hard to get that one off with the size difference there. That makes it a tough individual matchup for him, especially down low. Well, took on the big guys going in there and challenging them like he did. But boy, that was a nice job. It's tipped. Passes it to Kira for the lead. And again, Toronto with the triple. That's two straight quick three-pointers they've allowed. Defense just not reacting with enough aggressiveness. And the Clippers call time here. 